Hello students, a very lovely good morning to all of you. So today the last lecture of this week and the very last lecture of your first topic that is introduction to accounting. I hope this chapter is now clear to all of you. So today we are going to do the very last few leftover parts of this chapter that is branches of accounting and systems. So for your videos and for your syllabus, we are following T.S. Garewal's double entry bookkeeping. And before proceeding with today's lecture, let me first introduce you with learning objectives of branches of accounting. So why we are going to study these branches of accounting today? First of all, the systems and branches of accounting are helpful in making sure all your changes are correct. Second, budgeting and managing your spendings, planning for the future, getting better grades, transforming everyday skills into a career. Let me show you one tree and its branches. We are very much familiar with the with this brand actually, it is very popular, very renowned and very old usable brand in every home. All of us are using one or other product of this particular company. So what is the name of the company I am going to discuss? It is Dabur India Limited. It is the best Ayurveda company. So this is the identity logo of the company. They have made a tree with a leaf spread over and their logo is celebrate life. They have different areas of operations like they deal with beauty products, they deal with dental care. We all eat Chavan Prash. We definitely take Dabar honey in some recipes or we take it as it is also. Homemade products are there. Okay, we use Odomos these days. We apply the mosquito repellent on our skin. So this product is also of Dabur India. Real fruit, a very popular brand of juice. We all intake it and ordinal. So these are the products which you see in your daily use. So I am just saying that see that these are the different branches in which a company has expanded itself. Accounting is a term which is meaningful because it has been used worldwide in different areas in different fields so when it is used in different fields it has many branches its branch arise due to the need of the system so similarly this company also has an accounting criteria that accounting criteria it has to deal with different forms of accounting it has to follow different forms of accounting as well so while going through the Dabur India Limited annual reports, their CPA reports, their reports on their financial statements, I come across that there are various fields in which Dabur India is dealing with. Before starting with the branches, I just want to tell you that accounting skills are very practical and can be applied in many areas of one's life. Accounting skills can be analyzed. They can apply it for grading of courses, managing expenses, making smart financial investments and these skills are demanded by employers these days. So learning of different branches of accounting is exploring your career. So today we are going to learn about the different branches or sub fields of accounting in which Dabur India has expanded its business throughout a wide range of products. First of all, financial accounting, then cost accounting, management accounting, then auditing, AIS, accounting information system, tax accounting, forensic accounting, then fiduciary accounting, government accounting and last is fund accounting. So I was surprised that a company which is dealing with a variety of products has to deal with a large number of fields of accounting as well. 
because in every field they need a new aspect to be investigated and to be presented and collected also so first of all we will talk about accounting information system that is ais so look here now there is an information system that how information will be gathered to whom it is conveyed then who will use it who will manipulate it who will abstract the crux out of it and publish it for the public so this is the hub that this is the company this is dabar india they are giving data information system infrastructure is there softwares are installed there are two systems one is inter internal structure other are the persons to whom the stakeholders the shareholders to whom the information has to be conveyed and for this purpose they have established procedures that how information will be collected then it is processed through softwares controlled under all levels of management and ultimately reach to the stakeholders also the changing business requirements through centuries has given rise to specialized branches of accounting to cater the changing requirements so these branches of accounting emerge because there is need in society for their adoption first of all we will discuss about financial accounting now one by one we are going to discuss about all the key terms which we are going to cover in today's topic first of all financial accounting recording and categorizing transactions for business it is historical and based on past figures for example till now you have learned that in our process we prepare trading account we prepare profit and loss account and we frame out a balance sheet so what all these accounts summarized these are our financial statements preparation of financial statements is known as financial accounting recording of data based on past figures to take out results that is known as financial accounting next type of accounting or the next key term is cost accounting cost accounting is generally used in manufacturing industries an industry which has a lot of resources and costs to manage the industry which deals in which deals in a number of processes to be done for completing the product into its finished form it involves number of processes so for completing those processes they have to incur some expenses like rent they have to pay shipping charges so then they calculate cost per unit that for every single item what is their cost for every single operation what is the cost which is to be bear by the company what is the cost in every region what is the cost they have to bear in every branch using different accounting tools they use methods they use eoq method they use other statistical techniques to find out the cost accounting comparison and moreover this accounting helps the accountant to regulate the losses at every possible step right from the beginning so next key term or the next type of accounting is auditing first is auditing is of two types one is external another is internal so when the accountant himself who prepares the account checks the already made accounts recheck them compare them with the information that is called internal auditing and if the company hires a professional known as auditor that is third party from the society to analyze the accounts then it is called external the next key term or the next type of accounting is managerial accounting that is management accounting 
so in this accounting it is actually the most recent developed branch of accounting it deals with information like fund cost profit this accounting is basically made to take decisions about a company's operations and it is only in the hands of management no other has to deal or make such accounts for example if the company wants to see how much cash they have received which activities leads to the outflow of cash comparing one profit and loss with the previous profit and loss or the comparison of one balance sheet with the previous balance sheet interpretation of financial information through proportions through applying ratio techniques budgeting forecasting all are covered by management under the term of management accounting next term is tax accounting that is planning for tax time and the preparation of tax returns that at what time one has to file the return for tax payment generally in india the companies whether they are private companies public companies sole proprietors single ownerships partnership firms so it is mandatory for them to file return for tax twice in a year first at the end of october that is 31st october even banks also follow this mandation of filing returns then at the end of march that is 31st march that is closing of each year's books of accounts so when they plan the tax time and when they prepare their returns they first of all figure out the income tax what amount of tax they have to pay out of their profit so when they pay tax they it reduces their legal implications it reduces their legal provisions these branches are also called sub disciplines within the accounting discipline another key term or type of accounting is fund accounting fund accounting is done for ngos like in amritsar you have pingalwada you have rotary club so the fund accounting which is done for non profit organizations organizations which have made for public welfare blind home orphanages so they also keep a record of their funds because they get donations also they get charity so they keep a record and that accounting is known as fund accounting next is government accounting every year we see that a budget is displayed on 1st feb government displays annual budget and for preparing that budget government do accounting by both central and state government they allocate the different resources they make their utilization in the form of a budget with the help of accounting which is known as government accounting now next we have forensic accounting okay now the word forensic you remember this word forensic all of you must watch cid a forensic lab is there in which they uh, do post mortem and they actually diagnose the reason why the person is dead who must have killed him what is the reason at what time death take place so forensic accounting is now related with legal affairs inquiry now the accountants have to do and inquiry they have to do inspection why frauds are there they have to resolve disputes they have to solve legal cases and also they have to claim resolution for example now reconstructing so how do they do it how does forensic accounting take place so what do they do they reconstruct financial data all data is again reconstructed it is made again with the help of consultants not accountants with the help of consultants next is fiduciary accounting okay now word fiduciary basically means embezzlement of cash fiduciary word is embezzlement of cash that if someone makes any fraud in cash for that we use word fiduciary so fiduciary accounting here means management of 
property for another business that is you must have known must be knowing that every company has a trustee they have a trustee of two one person or more than one person one or two persons become trustees of the company trustees means the persons who have laid down the foundation of the business and on whose name the business is running so fiduciary accounting do what they manage property of another business they manage account related to the administration and they act as guardianship of property they are not the owners of the property they are using assets of a company and they are acting as guardians in estate accounting also like suppose if i talk about in your own city like sharma and gangadhar sng you very well know that sg in caves so they are very old veer group veer builders so they are very old group constructions so they deal in estate they make colonies they make houses they make shopping complex so if they hire professionals to keep a record to of their property that how their property is being managed how many plots they have cut down how many flats they have made at what cost they will sell cost per flat so what is it it is estate accounting now what do they do actually now veer builders are there they do they appoint a custodian one who take the custody of all their property that in case if there is bankruptcy now bankruptcy is what bankruptcy diwaliya nikalna bankruptcy is when you have nothing in your banks so that is bankruptcy so now they have appointed a custodian that in that case a custodian will look after that company must not become bankrupt they must have sound position to regulate their business